God touch me, my heart. Yes. God, God, God gonna hold your hands of faith. I want you to touch God, Jesus Christ. I, here is a, here is the woman. What I'm going to preaching today. The touching the clock, Jesus Christ. Here is the woman. Yes, who touched Jesus Christ, the edge of the clothes, who had been. Bleeding for twelve years. This woman had a uh, uh, seemingly uh, incurable condition, uh, causing her to bleed constantly. This may have been a menstrual or uterine disorder that would have made her ritually unclean, according to Jewish law, and excluded by the people. Uh, her from, you know, most social contact. The woman I'm going to introduce to you that we have to learn and we have to, we have to, it, 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 in the lesson, the whole face, yes. According to Mark 5, chapter 31, uh, I'm going to tell you this scripture. At once, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? So, yeah, OK. Uh, I want to tell you the the what Jesus had been doing before he came to the 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 the, the side of the Galilee. He crossed over uh, the Jordan the River. Uh, and from the, the Canasara region, where Jesus Christ sent to 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 demon hold pig, you know the, the story. So he came to back in the region of Galilee and a lot of people around him and followed. So, one 
in the rule of synagogue named Jairo came and nailed down at the feet of the Jesus Christ, pleaded, oh, oh, help me, my daughter is going to die, come to my house and heal my daughter. So Jesus Christ went to the, his house and a lot of crowd followed Jesus Christ. One woman followed and touched the clock of the Jesus. So Jesus said, he turned around the, in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? So disciples replied, oh Lord, you know, you see a lot of people are following and pressed to you. It, it, why do uh, ask inconsistent question? <laughs> why are asking in what then? Anyway, the disciples didn't understand what Jesus said. They said, yet you can ask me why, and who touched my clothes. Why you can ask like that? Disciples didn't understand the a question. Who touched me? Listen, listen, my friend. Many people were crowding against Jesus that day, the woman bleeding to touch him. And when she did, he, Jesus Christ, realized that power had gone. Power had gone out from him. He looked around into the crowd, trying to discern who had touched him. The disciples didn't understand his question. Hmm? So they said, Lord, you see a lot of people are following and crowding against you. Why yet you can ask who touched me? As I've told you, uh, that I am going to emphasize this question that is very, very important to us now. This key point, I want, I, I want to tell you this, what I said, why touch me? Who touched me? Not, yeah, who touched me? We don't understand. Jesus was looking for the one who 
stretch out the hands of the fish. Jesus is looking for the one who going to touch with the hands of faith. It could be you. Yes. We must touch. I want to touch Jesus Christ hands with my faith. Face like this woman who wants to be healed, he her disease that had been suffering for 12 years. She thought, she heard it yeah, before she heard about Jesus. She thought, I am going to touch and see Jesus. My disease will be healed. I will be healed. She, she thought. Even though many, many people gathered around the Lord Jesus, touching his clothes, only this woman, only this woman who touched his clothes with faith could experience the healing miracle of Jesus, oh, hallelujah, oh, thank you, Lord, pray the Lord, give him glory. Oh, my, my Lord, hallelujah. Uh, only this woman, among the many people who the, had been followed Jesus, but Jesus realized, who touched his clothes, Today, ah, today, Jesus is also looking for for a people of faith like you. Oh my God! Thank you, Lord. Oh, like you, <laughs> like me. Oh, I will. I love you, sir. Then, uh, can I tell you more? Oh. I pray, I pray now that all of you will be, you know, experience of your, your miracle. Going to show to you if you touch Jesus Christ. I pray, I pray to the Lord, you will proclaim with your face that Jesus is the Lord and the preaching the gospel with the power of Jesus Christ. Same power which Jesus Christ said, my power had gone out from me. This power you will be received. When you touch the Jesus Christ, oh, and uh, I prayed, Lord, Lord, I hear, here I am. I touched you, yes, with my face, I touched you, hallelujah, hallelujah. I 
I want to stretch your hand to the Jesus Christ. And uh, I want to touch the cross of Jesus in times of pain. I know. Pain. We don't want. But this pain will be gone if we touch Jesus Christ. Suffering. I don't want to keep this suffering. But this suffering will be disappeared when we touch Jesus Christ. Sorrow. Sorrow. Jesus Christ will wipe out your sorrow from your face. Tear. Tear, not tear. Tear will be gone by wiping out of Jesus Christ. Loneliness. Oh. Oh. Mark. Five chapter thirty two thirty three says But Jesus kept around to see who had done it. Who had done it? So the woman I'm talking to you now, knowing what had happened to her. She knew what had happened. She did, she felt he, her disease was healed when she touched the clock of Jesus Christ. She knew that. So she came before the Jesus Christ. And fell at his feet and trembling with fear. Bible said, Bible said, trembling with fear. She nailed down before the Jesus Christ. Told him the whole truth, whole story. What she had been experienced just before. So Jesus Christ, this, this woman came and fell at the feet of Jesus and told the whole truth. The yeah, Bible said, let me tell you that I want to, I want to tell you, this is the point I'm going to tell you. Like this woman, we must uh, let people know about the grace we have received. We must say, Thanks to the grace of God, I've been experienced. I've received the grace of God since I believed in Jesus Christ. And so that I'm going to tell and preach the gospel to other people what I had been experienced by the power of Jesus. We must proclaim, we must say what we had done, that Jesus Christ gave us the blessing, wonderful blessing. We must proclaim this gospel like this woman who confessed what 
she had done to the Jesus Christ. Oh, can I, can I tell you more? The, the scripture continually what she was going to do with Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, I have time. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to preach more. Mark 5, chapter 34 says, listen. He said to her, Doro, your face has healed you. So Jesus Christ said, your faith had healed you. Go in peace. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Oh my. After hearing what the woman said, Jesus replied to her. Huh? I want you to listen. Jesus Christ spoken to her. Your face has healed you. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my Lord. Go in peace. Go in peace. Go in peace. Is a comforting word of grace, you have, we ought to know, and the blessing to us, blessing to the believer. Hmm? We, we are worried about in, in, in anything and it agony, all sadness, loneliness, weariness, sometimes feel pain by disease, and the feeling of being tired. Yeah, we are, we are experiencing every day, unless we Touch Jesus Christ. We need the Holy Spirit. Yes. It's because this world we are living now, it's, uh, it's like uh, the world. It, 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 it's a storm. And a lot of temptation is coming to the believer. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. So Jesus Christ say, go in peace. Be filled with the joy and the freedom. Go in peace, I pray that you will experience God's miracle, yes. We need God's miracle. And go into the world with the power by receiving the world. Go in peace. Go in peace with the power of Jesus Christ, the preaching the gospel that you got the assignment by God. Gee, even today, Jesus say, your face has saved. Matthew 9, 27, the two blind men were followed Jesus Christ. They said, oh, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on to us. Jesus, 
touched them. Jesus touched the blind man. Two blind men. Their eyes immediately opened. Bible said, Bible said. Their sight had restored when Jesus Christ touched their eyes. Listen. Jesus said, according to your face will it be done. According to your faith, will it be done? Hallelujah. You know, you know, when we turn on the fourth seat, water will flow down. When you turn on fourth feet and your bathroom and your chicken room, kitchen room. What will come out? As soon as you turn on the fourth feet, huh? oh. the answer, what I'm telling you, the answer to our prayers are right before us. But if we do not turn of the fourth seat of our face, oh, I, okay. oh I, I, I'm drunk by the Holy Spirit, and negatively confess that, well, such a thing will not happen. <laughs> listen, listen, this miracle will not take place. All of the blessings and the answers of the prayer are right before us. We should realize. But because we keep our faith shut up, Nothing happened to us. No. Miracles cannot happen if we do not do not turn on our fourth feet. Lastly, I almost done. Almost. Um, I, I want to tell you one thing. We should know this is very, very important. I am telling you. According to Mark 6, chapter 5 through the 6, he could not do any miracles there. Where? Jesus' hometown, Nazareth. Except a few people Jesus Christ healed, they were healed. So Jesus said, he was amazed. At the lack of faith, you know, they, the the people who live in the hometown, the Nazareth, when Jesus came to the, uh, the, at this hometown, they say, "Where did he get? Where did he get these things?" Oh, he. He is the brother of Joseph. He is the son of the Maria. They laughed at it. They sneezed at Jesus. They didn't believe Jesus who came from God, son of God. So Jesus could not Healed who the sick, many people at the, his hometown. It was not because Jesus had uh, no power, but because uh, the people were lacking of faith. They 
they don't believe Jesus was your son of God. We cannot experience any miracle if we do not believe. I want to reach out to God to blessing. Reach out, stretch out your hand to the Jesus' hands with your face. The miracle will take place. Like uh, this woman who touched the edge of the clock of Jesus with the face. She strongly believed. She thought, if I touch, if I touch, I will be healed. Because she had spent a lot of money to cure her disease for a long time. She couldn't. She heard the news. Jesus was is not. Is healer, great physician who healed every disease. So she eagerly is waiting for to see Jesus stretch her hand, touch her his clock. Jesus knew my power had gone out. Oh, thank you. I want you, I want you, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, stretch out your hand to Jesus, to Jesus with your face. When you had, you have suffering, you have pain, you have problem, you couldn't solve anything, you couldn't do nothing, but Jesus going to to heal you, answer you, your prayer, the solve your prayer room you have. Thank you, Lord. Oh, pray the Lord. See you later. Bye-bye.